Many years ago, the editor of a New York newspaper received a letter from a little girl called Virginia. It read, Dear Editor, My name is Virginia, and I'm eight years old. Some of my friends say there is no Santa Claus. Please, tell me the truth. The editor's reply was printed in the editorial column of his newspaper the very next day. And through the years, throughout the world, it's become famous as the Letter to Virginia. Dear Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They've been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They don't believe unless they see. They think that nothing can be which is not understood by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect compared with the boundless world about him. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know, Virginia, they're blessed and give to your life its beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There'd be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your father to hire men to watch all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they didn't see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that's no sign there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. You tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived, could tear apart. Only faith, fantasy, poetry, love, and romance can push aside that curtain and view the supernal beauty beyond. Is it all real? Oh, Virginia, in all this world there is nothing else real and abiding. No, Santa Claus? Thank God he lives, and lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, no, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.